is going on everyone? My name is Fiddy Watts and today I'm going to be bringing you a review on the NVIDIA GeForce Experience Shadow Play, which is the game capture for the NVIDIA GeForce Experience app that is available on the PC for all the people who are big gamers in PC gaming, just like myself, and I'm also a big fan of console gaming. But GeForce Experience, which is, like I've said, from, from NVIDIA, is up here in my desktop. It's right here this is the emblem what it looks like it's Nvidia the symbol of their logo and it when it opens up here to the window it has your games which are in your let me see here your preferences your games which are found in your program files your C program files times 86 program files and your games and then I also have a League of Legends for a folder here so that can be supported but your games are in this tab obviously because it's labeled by games and it lists all your games and I'll explain what these green arrows mean in the gray I guess you'd say minus is there in a second but I just want to go over the overall layout of the um, software here so these are your games and this is everything that it supports all the games that the GeForce experience supports and next is the drivers that it has that it automatically checks right here including the beta drivers I don't have that checked but I can because I don't really want that I just sort of want the full version of everything and right now I have the GeForce R331 ready game driver and that is my latest installed driver here and it is a great 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 software that I love to use and it has the GeForce Shadow Play down here so my rig is the GeForce GTX 660 graphics card and I have an AMD processor, it's the 8350 8-core. And I built this PC, I believe, last Christmas when I got it. And I built it myself, I ordered everything off Newegg, and I um, did everything for that to build the computer. And it's been great, and this application just makes it so much better of a um, experience for gaming and everything on computers. So in the preferences this is just all the settings the general settings licenses all that kind of stuff streaming updates and then of course shadow play um, keyboard settings and things like that so if we go back to the games we can see here that there are different colored check marks and minuses on the games list and what that is is for each game that you have listed here for example if I have armor 2 or Batman Arkham City or anything on this list from top to bottom bottom to top it will automatically optimize the games for the best settings for that game so instead of going on to Battlefield 3 normally launching it on um, Origin and just going on there and hitting okay ultra settings uh, everything up it you know will run if you have a good graphics card but it won't run you know to the best that it can and you won't get the best frames so I highly suggest getting this software and using it because all you have to do is either come here and hit Optimize. I know it says revert now, but if I hit revert, it will set it back and then it'll say, okay, it's unable to now, but it would be able to revert it and then what would happen would be you would hit optimize individually or you would just come down to this down here where it is the optimize all and it'll optimize everything that it possibly can that it's able to in your lobby and that is a great, great, great feature because it'll optimize all your games that quick and it'll just be done with and all your games will be perfectly ready to go when you want to launch them now for this application I really really like it because it also shares all the points and examples of what it does so for example if you have ambient occlusion I think that's even how you say it but whatever it is it's awesome because it's battlefield but um, you're gonna have this and then it will show you the example so it's supposed to be at HBAO which is the current right here and it will show you what it does and it will give you a little description which is awesome and you can even go to different scenes to see all the effects quality that kind of stuff at Ultra all kind of all the cool stuff and all the details so and it gives you a description of everything and what all the things are and you can look at all the pictures and it's just amazing and I actually really 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 love it now again with everything here it's all your tabs and it's very easy to use there's just four tabs as I've shown you and you can really get around with everything and a really 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 cool thing that I've actually used and it's for my one video on my channel the battle bo battle, battlefield I was talking about battlefield but my borderlands 2 video that I actually recorded was on the software of shadow play 
Now I love Shadow Play because it's very, very, very easy to use. All you have to do is just make sure you're eligible to be able to use it. Make sure you have most of the check marks and it'll tell you if you're ready and you're able to use it. And then when you want to use it, all you have to do is go into the Shadow Play button up here, click on that and turn it on. Now you can have it in the off mode or you can have it on the on mode and it'll tell you what it's recording at 1080p at 60 frames per second using the file that it's going to be recording with and you can open up folders, make preferences, do everything you want and it's just great because it's a very 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 again easy software to use and it's not complicated there's only four buttons here there's four tabs it's just so easy to use this and it's very 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 user friendly now there's different modes for shadow play and that's the shadow and manual shadow and manual and what shadow is is it will actually hold your gameplay for you for a certain amount of time and if you want to go back and record it or if you want to use that recording that it was holding in your I guess um, shadow or I guess it's like the cloud almost as if um, iTunes or Apple would use and it sort of holds that gameplay for if you wanted to use that if you didn't want to manually record it but I like to manually record it because I don't like to have a duration or like a set time I just hit you know I have it at F9 so I hit F9 when I want to start and F9 when I want to finish and that's a really great thing for it. Now you can also have the quality on high, obviously I'd want it high, I don't know why they would give you these, maybe if your computer couldn't do that, but I, I can run it on high and then the audio you can add in game or off, which is your choice. So it's very customizable, it's not super advanced, it is very simple to use and I absolutely love it and I would recommend getting this software if you have anything to do with PC gaming and it's a really 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 great thing to get and I really suggest getting it so make sure you guys go and download it just look up NVIDIA GeForce Experience right here up here in this corner just like that and you don't have to download Shadowplay it comes with the um, application right on the software and you don't have to do anything special it's just there and if you have a really 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 nice graphics card like I do this one's pretty decent it's not the best one it's not a Titan but um, it works and it runs everything in 1080p at 60 frames and I really really love it so thank you guys for watching this video I hope you enjoyed this review and I give this software two thumbs up or three thumbs up if I had three hands and I really 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 love it so make sure you guys go check it out and before I go, I want to just say, let's see if we can get to five likes on this video because I know five likes isn't too many, but I really want to reach it because that would make me feel really good if I could get five likes on one of my videos. So I'll see you guys in the next video and peace out.